cos square 3 pi by 8 plus cos square 5 pi by 8 plus cos square 7 pi by 8. First thing you have to notice straight away that this pi by 8 and the 7 pi by 8 need to be put together. These two need to be put together. Why? Pi by 8 and 7 pi by 8. Add that up. We will get pi. 3 pi by 8 and 5 pi by 8. Add that up. We will get pi. Now think about this. Think about cos theta and cos of 180 minus theta. If cos theta, cos of 180 minus theta is going to be in the second quadrant. So this is cos theta. This is going to be minus cos theta. All silver teacups. So second quadrant is going to be negative. Cos is going to be minus cos or cos square 5 pi by 8 pi by 8 is same as cos square 7 pi by 8. I am going to modify this question and say this is 2 times cos square 5 by 8 plus 2 times cos square 3 pi by 8 and pi by 8 and 3 pi by 8. 2 times this plus 2 times this. Now if we can link cos square pi by 8 and cos square 3 pi by 8 we are good to go. And what do we do there? Pi by 8 plus 3 pi by 8. Pi by 8 plus 3 pi by 8. This 4 pi by 8 or pi by 2. Now we know, if you think about cos theta and cos of 90 minus theta. This is cos theta. This is sin theta. We are through. Cos 3 pi by 8 is sin of pi by 8. 90 minus theta or this expression becomes 2 times cos square pi by 8 plus 2 times sin square pi by 8 or just 2 times cos square theta plus sin square theta or 2 times 1 which is 2. Take this figure out that these two are equal figure out that these two are equal and figure out that this angle and this angle add up to 90 degrees, you're done.